First, we need to make a boat. I did some calculations. We have exactly 11 planks left, and lucky for us, all we need is 11, so we can't lose one more. And I didn't close off the mod platform. Crap. Okay, I have three arrows left. Let's make them... Okay, two arrows left. And... All right, there he goes. Get a little closer. Oh, come on! Now, the plan is to get my arrows from the chest. Just a little further... Yes! Get out of here! Oh, no. Go, go, go! That's right! Whew. Okay, and let's make a boat. Alright, we need to get to these specific coordinates. They... Uh... They're special. Okay, first we have to make a little space down here. Now we're just gonna pillar up using the wool. Alright, I wanna be at full health for this, so let's get a carrot. Alright, I have one shot at this. And go! Suffocating. Where's... Yes! Cobblestone! Now hold on, you may be wondering. I thought you said you can't leave the void by going through bedrock. Well, it's like, boy, I'm still stuck in the void. <laughs> like, literally, I'm stuck. Huh, I didn't think this through. Although this allows me to get the cobblestone I needed while staying in the void, it creates one major issue. I can't step on it, I can't go left, I can't go right, I can't go up, and I can't go down. So my first thought was to have a mob push the boat away, allowing me to fall back onto the platform below, but... It got in the boat? They both got in the boat! I attempted hitting it, but th that didn't work either. Which means there's only one way left to get down. Three hours?! Why, hello there. Well, we have the cobblestone. We're on our last step before we want our wandering trader, the villager. We have one apple we obtained from the bonus chest. Losing this would mean the end of the challenge. We're gonna use that apple to cure a villager. But if I wanna pull that off, I'm gonna need to collect eight golden ingots. So the first thing I need to do is extend the farm. Normally, if you wanted a golden apple, you'd go mining for like five minutes or so to get enough gold. For me, on the other hand, it's not so easy. There's only one way to get gold down here, armor. But if Obtaining golden armor and tools wouldn't just be enough. We were gonna need a furnace to smelt it down. But unfortunately for us, obtaining the cobblestone was the easy part. Zombie- Oh, no, 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 crap! Oops. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, there's not enough left up here. Why am I so dumb? Oh, I can't believe I didn't fall there. Let's not do that again. Anyway, uh, they have a chance to spawn with complete armor sets and tools. Lucky for us, the greatest chance is golden ones. Unlucky for us, even if they spawn with it, they have less than a 10% chance of dropping it. Huh. Noise. I did some large cranium math, and I found out with my current farm design, I can acquire on average 7 zombies or skeletons every 3 minutes. That means 1 mob per 25 seconds. After further testing, I discovered that to make 1 golden ingot, you need approximately 300 zombie and skeleton kills. Given the math, that's 16 hours. Someone help me. Well, here goes. We're two hours in, and honestly, doing better than I thought. We did, however, have a few minor incidents. Nope. Chicken legs. But we've gathered one and a half golden ingots. Ah, oh, it's gonna take forever. 